One of the things that sets MediaShout apart from basic presentation software is the ability to add items to your presentation that perform a function rather than just playing a piece of media. Since this is a relatively unique concept to many users, one of the most requested shout tips has been using script control cues to create announcement loops. As I just mentioned, MediaShout includes certain types of cues that don't play media themselves, but rather perform a function or affect another cue in your presentation. So let's look at how script controls work by building an announcement loop. First, let's add some announcements to our presentation. I'll use the file deck to find my folder of announcement graphics. Now I've already set up a graphic template called 7 seconds that includes a 7 second automatic advance. So I'll select one of my announcement graphics, choose the 7 second template, and then select the rest of my announcement graphics and drag them all into my script. Now the announcement graphics are in my presentation and already include a 7 second advance in each of them. Also, there's one announcement video I'd like to use in my loop, however, I don't want it to play as often as the other announcements. So I'll drop the video right below the graphics and make sure it's set to automatically advance after the video finishes playing. Next, I'll use the Elements deck or the Insert menu at the top of my screen to add a script control cue to the bottom of my announcement graphics, since I want the script control to point back up to the first graphic and then create a loop. Once I drop it into the script, the cue editor automatically pops open and now I can choose how I want the script control to work. So let's look at the options we have. The first option is Target. This is where you select which cue the script control points to. We can either choose first cue, previous, next, last, or select a specific cue. So let's choose the first cue option. Next we see a scheduled playing checkbox and time of day setting. Checking this box and selecting a specific time of day will cause MediaShout to automatically play the script control at a specific time, like 30 minutes before your service while you're in a production meeting or while you're grabbing that last cup of coffee. The next setting we come to is play times. This gives us the option of telling the script control to go back to the first queue an infinite number of times or to only go back and play the first queue once or twice before continuing on to another point in your script. I'll set this to 3 and explain why in a moment. Finally, the last setting we have is advanced target. Since I've set the script control to only play 3 times, I have to tell it where to go once it's finished. So I'll go ahead and leave this set to next queue, although I could choose any other queue in my presentation. Next, I'll click OK and we're almost ready to play our announcement loop. I'll add another script control right below the video that is set to first queue as target, and loop for playtimes. Now, my group of announcement slides will play three times before the video plays, and then loop back to the beginning of my script, playing the slides three times, and so on. So as you can see, script control cues can be used for creating simple loops, or in combination with one another, to create more intricate automation. Do you have other topics you'd like to see us cover? I'd love to hear from you head over to our new support page at mediashop.com support where you can find links to our forums as well as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Leave us a comment in any of these communities or send an email to shouttips at mediashop.com.